Welcome to another episode of Solitaire Quest. I'm the Blood Knight of the Old Republic of Bloodganistan. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already, and... God damn it, fucking microphone. Fuck. Alright. So, yeah. I realized... I realized I haven't beaten I've I haven't beaten on uh, Doctor Who series 11 hard enough. Realize I haven't done that. Hmm. Like the fucking piñata that it is. I haven't busted it out. I haven't busted it open, you know. Because a lot of it's just mediocre bullshit, you know. And yeah, when I first started my reviews, I wanted to get into. I wanted. I wanted to sink my teeth into. To series twelve. Wet my fangs, you know what I'm saying, but, you know, realized I skipped a few episodes of Series 11. So without further ado, this is me finishing, finishing this shit. So yeah, this episode is... Title this Doctor Who episode is of series eleven is titled "The Whammon Who Fell to Earth and Karen and Me Tooed Everybody." So yeah, we got apparently Ryan doing a video blog, and yeah, they didn't bring that never bring this shit up in the rest of this. It, in the rest of series 11, they don't bring this shit up. We don't have more of Ryan's video blogs. None of that. And he's got, uh, can't ride a bike because he's got mental issues. Hmm. I mean, just add some, uh, get some bigger wheels. Get some added stabilization to that bike, you know? Maybe get something that has three wheels. I don't know. And yeah. Like the, like the, like the guy that he is, he just chucks the bike down the hill. And out down, yeah, no stabilization on the bike. You know, if you're having trouble riding a bike, I'm sure you could go to your bike shop, get some custom shit put onto your bike, let you ride it, you know, if you got problems. And yet, we got random portal panel appears before, before Ryan and, uh, you got, you got the big blue thing appears. Yeah, and you got Yaz sidelined by superiors, and she's not with uh, she's not with any senior officers, you know. If she's on uh, if she's on like uh, she's on like probation to become a police officer. And I bet there was a version of this script where the blue thing was the TARDIS. But maybe they reworked that shit. And yeah, we got train. Yeah, doors randomly lock on the train. And yeah, the, lo the tentacle thing would have been better as a, love of, as a Lovecraftian monster. Maybe if some fun in some of that. 
And yeah, I got the Tenet impersonation. Because Chris Chibnall can only write for David Tennant, apparently. And yeah, we got the dude that leaves the train. He's going to be important later on. Mm. And yeah, I wrote down, yeah, yeah, it's not on... Not, not not with the superior offer when she's on probation. And yeah, the incidental background music just over dr dramifying things. And two random guys find the blue thing. Random guy sits in front of the blue thing. And he got the concept of DNA bombs. Which, you know, just regular... Just a regular head, just regular head explosion detonation bombs would have worked, you know. And the doctor straight up reformats Ryan's phone like she's a fucking technomancer. And yeah, we got Ice Darth Vader. Yeah, and why did the doctors try? Tracker take them to the warehouse when it should have been taking them to the tentacle thing, which makes yeah Makes no fucking sense And the doctor makes a new sonic screwdriver built for her pleasure <laughs> uh, Apparently the guy in the warehouse went to Canada There's apparently a banner. There's a banner in behind in the in the random video right on the guy's laptop. And it says Upper Canada Villa, but right after Villa there's a red blur. You can't quite Make out what other red, what other letters are behind the blur. I think, I think, uh, I think that, I just think that was strange. Strange. We got the random guy. He's a fucking full balder trying to find out where's, uh, Sister went just ripping that off of the X-Files Apparently the blue thing and shit is like from 5,000 galaxies away There's a random guy that throws salad at ice Darth Vader the doctor confronts Tim Shaw and he's a misogynist and then you got the guy Random guy getting gratification from a recorded woman's voice. And this, and yeah, the security guy dies to, our, to ice Darth Vader, you know. Another white guy dead. Another random ass white guy dead. Hmm. And yeah, we got the guy from the train saying he's valued and special and that he's important. And then shit gets resolved and Grace dies. And then Ryan tries to ride the bike. We got Grace's funeral. Sort of skipped over that. Apparently Graham had cancer. Doctor's outfit looks blah. And then the doctor teleports everyone to space. And uh, yeah, and if you want for your head cannon, the moment the doctor teleports everyone to space and she's there, that's how doctor that's how Doctor Who ends. They're all in outer space. They're, they all die. Just, just, yeah, just end the series here.
this first episode, first episode, this would be your ending point. Hmm. So yeah, not much to say, but that this episode has set the tone for the rest of series 11 and series 12. So yeah. Hmm. Not much else to say. There were stu there was stuff inserted for political reasons. The guy getting sued by a recording of the woman's voice. Yeah, that that was put in there. So you get a white guy saying that shit. And yeah. Oh, yeah, pretty boring. Know why I didn't review the, all of this shit? I remember why, but you know, might as well beat on the dead horse. I got nothing to do. I'm bored right now. Time to kill. You know, might as well kill it. So yeah, I'm the Blood Knight of the Old Republic of Bloodganistan. And yeah, like, share, and subscribe. Stay frosty. Stay sexy, San Diego. Get your jewels in one when you can. I'm a spaceman. Peace out.